Hi everyone, it's Robin. Welcome back to the nest. So I have a product reveal for you on this build a scene card kit from Crafters Companion that I just recently picked up at Tuesday morning and I showed you all in my live yesterday. So I thought that we would just open it together because several of you wanted to see what all was in it. So let's go. I've already broke the seal down here so I didn't have to do that. Oh wow, look. Can you all see this? Let me zoom out. Whoops, wrong way, sorry. I'll zoom out. Do you see how pretty this packaging is? That's um that's so nice. And then it just has a little thank you for your purchase here. And oh wow. Okay, so on the inside you're gonna receive these ribbons. And actually, you're going to receive two different sizes. Let me open this. And I do apologize for the crinkling. Oh, no. You receive three different sizes of the satin ribbon in pink, blue, and cream. That is so pretty. I don't know how much you receive with it. I, I think I see... Uh, what all is included in the bottom of the box. But then you also get this stamp, and I'm sure that you all can't see that, so maybe you can if I do that. Can you see? Um, so there's a castle, a bunny, some flowers. This says Once Upon a Time with love. A little, a little house, it looks like can't really tell what this right here is. Um, some stars, birds, more flowers, flowers, mushrooms, how cute. Another rabbit that looks kind of um, mosaic looking. And <clears throat> then this is a little teeny tiny uh, fairy that's holding some flowers. And then you have some um, trees down here like some pine trees or something, a fox, a hedgehog, a squirrel, and it looks like another little house right here, and then this over here says, have a magical birthday. That is really a nice, um, a very nice stamp set. I love that. So you get that, and then um, the next thing, these are all of your card blanks. Let me see. Hang on just a second. I'm so sorry about the crinkling. Does that come out? Yes, it does. Let me do this. So, um, you get this instruction book and it just kind of tells you how to, I guess, how to do some things in here or something. I'll have to read over that. But I thought that it would give like, um, what all it included. Where did I read that? Oh, makes a minimum of 19 cards mixed sizes. So, these are all of the card blanks and I'm going to, I'm going to come away to where the crinkling may not be so loud to open these. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. So here are some your card blanks. What do these look like? Oh look. And then they're scored here as well. Oh those are neat. Those are really neat. So all of those are like that. So you get those and then, same thing here. Apparently, these instructions are going to explain that. But then you get these. And these are just your basic, your basic cards. And these are really good quality. Um, this is really good quality cardstock, too. It isn't flimsy. Um, so, that's a good thing. And then these are just a larger size that are folded over. Sorry, guys. I don't I don't know like A2, A5, A4, A... 
40 blooming again. I don't know those sizes. So then you get these, and they have these little strips in here. So let's see what this is like. Oh, okay. Oh, I bet these are for uh, cards that go like this. I bet you money, because right here are your little strips to hold it up. The little easel cards. Mm, that is so nice. That's really nice. Okay, so you get those, and then you get the matching envelopes to go with it. And then, this is just your plain um, card bases. These are just your plain card bases. And again, that's like 110 pound cardstock, you all. So you get it in black and white. This was a steal of a deal. Did you all see the price on this? It was only $12.99. Okay, and so here are your dies. Um, let's see. Maybe if I take them out, that glare won't be there to where you can see it. So I'm, I know if it were, were me, I would want to see what I would want to see the most are the stamps and the dies. So here they are. I love them. Look at that little fairy. I don't have one that small. And then, um, like the um, the forest canopy here, and the tree, and the mushrooms. This is a deer and a bunny, and another little bush, and a little house. This could be like your little hill. And um, this one right here, I think that you would probably want to turn it this way. Um, and put it on a card and then this is just like some little rickrack I'm going to try to put this closer and um, just pause it for a second to where you all can see that let me turn her the other way to where you can see I love this oh I am so excited I'm so glad that I got this so glad um, <clears throat> And then here's colored cardstock. Because I was trying to think, how in the world are we getting these colors? But right here is where it's coming in um, with this colored cardstock. And this is just solid. Um, the cardstock, this isn't very thick, but that's okay because you have the bases that are. So you get it in green. You get three pieces of green. Okay, so there's three of each. Three pieces of green, three brown, three navy blue. I had to look for a minute because it looked weird. And then three um, light, light blue. So I don't, where's the pink coming in? Oh, God, that's the pink's coming in the printed. Let me open this. So I was trying to think, where in the world is that pink coming in at? It's here. Look, this is really pretty. And again, this is, um, it isn't as lightweight as, I, I'm not going to say it's 65 pounds. It's, it's not cheap quality, but it is lighter weight, again, as the, um, as the card stock and the card bases. So I'll go through here. Um, and show you and hopefully you can see these patterns that are here these will work so well as the background on these cards isn't that pretty there's your pink in there mm. oh pretty so this is a pink and this one's more of a peach I'm not sure if you're seeing that difference but there is a little bit of a difference there And then, I don't know if you can see the difference in this. This is like a um, like a pale aqua blue, and this is more of a mint green. But there, and then over here, this is yellow. I'm sure that you can probably see that. Oh, this is so nice. I'm so excited. 
Oh my gosh. And I can use my other um, fairy stuff with it. Oh. Oh my goodness. And then there's the last page. Oh my goodness. So that is what all you get, you all. And then it comes in this really nice box that you can reuse, you know, to store things in. Like, um, store the store the actual cards that you make in um, until you go to send them out or sell them or whatever you want to do with it. But um, that's the reveal, you all. I, 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 would, I would recommend it. Um, because even though this card stock isn't as thick as... Um, you know, as thick as like Graphic 45 or Bow Bunny or something like that. Your card bases, these bases are, and the card and the envelopes are. So you're going to have a very nice uh, handmade quality card with these kits. So um, that's the reveal. I hope that your Tuesday morning gets some of these in. And thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, wait a minute. Just a second. I'm not going anywhere yet. Wanted to say something about Tuesday morning. So I heard that they were getting house mouse stamps in. So um, the little girl that works at my Tuesday morning told me that they still had buggies to pull out and they were going to put them out today. I'm hoping that I get to feeling better to where I can go down there because I missed the um, house mouse stamps when they came in the last time and um, so say a little prayer that I can get to Tuesday morning to get me some house mouse stamps today because I saw some that NC Invites had posted and oh my gosh they were so cute so anyway just wanted to tell you guys that and I will talk to you later bye